The image that I chose for this particular piece of music is very contrasty. Now, if you look at the images on the internet of this image, you'll see that there's a wide range of contrasty images and low contrast images that are sometimes very light. Uh, some of them are sepia toned and some of them are, I think, color. Um, so what I thought was interesting about the contrast issue is that if you listen to what I'm doing at the end, I'm sh abruptly shifting to the minor mode. So this piece is an E flat major. And what I did at the end was to abruptly modulate to E flat minor to give a, a darker mood. And looking at the image, you can see that there's perhaps a cloud at the end of the road and there's some rain falling down, at least in the image that I'm using. So I thought that was kind of an interesting uh, correlation between the music and the image to make it darker at the end. Here's an interesting snippet about this particular photograph. Now, I think it was included in a, a compilation book. I think it was called The Americans. I don't know if it was for the photographer or a uh, collection. The road and the automobile are central motifs that appear throughout the Americans. This image, one of the photographer's most famous, shows a lone car on a straight road running through the vast open landscape of New Mexico. In the introduction to the Americans, Jack Kerouac refers to the long shot of night road arrowing forlorn into immensities and flat of impossible to believe America. Although Kerouac and many others assumed that this photograph was taken at night, it was instead made using the cinematic technique known as day for night. The photographer photographed this scene in daylight, but drastically underexposed the negative, yielding the impression of moonlit landscape in the finished print.